Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya. If you're not familiar with my channel, I'm a part-time reseller. I sell vintage and a few modern brands on sites like eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, Depop, etc. I also do live pop-up shops every now and then and I'm doing one this weekend in collaboration with Crash the Party Vintage and we are doing a big pre Viva Las Vegas pop-up vintage sale. Um, Crash the Party hosts an annual barbecue before the event every year. I'm so excited that they invited me to be a part of their pop-up shop this year so this video is gonna focus on a little bit of history about the event that's happening viva las vegas rockbilly weekend um some information about the pop-up shop that i'm participating in i'm gonna give you a sneak peek of the true vintage pieces that i'm bringing to this sale and also stay tuned to the end of the video for next week's schedule it's going to be a busy month we're heading into september and i have multiple pop-up shops happening in september i'm also going to be in vegas for a week i'm going to try and sneak out of the event and go sourcing in vegas so stay tuned for some exciting videos in the month of september with us if you're interested in this kind of content i hope you will like and subscribe to my channel to join us in all the fun activities so let's go ahead and just get started so what is Viva Las Vegas Rockabilly Weekend? It is a four-day music festival that happens in Las Vegas annually. Usually it happens over Easter weekend, but due to the pandemic, it's been getting pushed back. And this year it's happening September 8th through the 12th. And it's happening at the Orleans Casino Hotel Event Center. It's like a four-day, 24-hour music festival. There's always... There's multiple bands playing in multiple rooms, multiple ballrooms, multiple locations. There's DJs. There's all types of entertainment events happening now. There's like a comedy show, I think. Well, there's a slideshow. There's burlesque performances. There's a tattoo lounge. There's bowling. There's bingo. There's all types of different events that happen throughout the day there's always something going on and besides that you're in vegas so you can go gamble you can go to the casino you know there's multiple bars there's always something happening at viva las vegas the best i can explain it is it's a 24-hour party that happens for four days out of the year in vegas so the event was created by tom ingram who is a uk promoter and dj he has since then relocated to southern california and i believe this is the 24th year so the event started in 1998 and it used to happen at the gold coast casino since then it's just blown up into the largest rockabilly event in the world I don't know how else to explain it. It's just one of those events that you kind of just have to experience it for yourself. See what it is. Um, it's really cool because everybody that goes is just a fan of their vintage culture or like rock belly music. So people are dressed up in their best vintage clothing. And lately it's been kind of like a fashion show almost because people get really into it. So people are out searching for, you know, amazing rare vintage and then they wear it to Viva Las Vegas. I love to people watch. I love seeing how people dress up and it's just a lot of fun. So to the pop-up sale on Sunday that is happening, I am bringing a variety of different items. I'm bringing a lot of separates. I have a feeling that this year, because it is, you know, with everything that's going on with the variants, I feel like it's a limited event this year because for one thing, like um, a lot of the Europeans that visit this festival are not allowed to travel so i feel like it's going to be a significant downsize in volume of crowds of people that are attending you know there is a variant happening personally i feel like you know i take some responsibility because i feel like i waited too long to cancel and cancel anymore so i don't want to lose my deposit so i'm going you know and i'm gonna try and be as safe as possible i'm vaccinated so i have that you know leverage i'm going to comply with all of the regulations so i personally feel like because this year is a lot more toned down i feel like people aren't going to be as showy and I feel like it's going back to the basics. So the first time that I went to Viva, yeah, everybody was wearing vintage and everybody was dressed up. Saturday night has always been the big night where everybody dresses to the nines and wears their like best cocktail dresses. 
but I feel like in the past, you know, people were always wearing vintage and like there were people that were more um, casual. And I feel like that's what it's going to go back to this year, that people are going to be dressed a lot more casual. I've talked to a few people that are going and they're saying that they just want to be comfortable. I know in the past, I, I'm also like a showy person and I'm like, okay, I don't care if I can't breathe. I'm going to wear my best dress and show off you know a nice dress but I feel like this year I, I'm also going in the comfort route and I'm like I just want to wear a cute outfit and be comfortable and that's it so to this sale I'm bringing a combination of both for the most part these are like very comfortable two-piece pieces like I have some skirts I have some tops and I do have some nicer cocktail like evening wear but for the most part it's a lot of cottons it's a lot of more casual pieces so let me give you a sneak peek into some of my favorite pieces that I'm bringing to the sale on Sunday split screen the flyer here if you're in Southern California and you would like to stop by it is on Sunday September 5th all of the details are here also follow me on Instagram they're doing a huge ig live saturday september 4th at 8 p.m pacific i'm gonna put that flyer in here too so go ahead and follow me over on instagram for that um ig live that we're doing with all of the vendors that are participating and also if you want to come with me to vegas i'm going to be posting a lot of like behind the scenes and like ig stories as i'm at the event so if you want to follow and you're more curious about finding out what this viva las vegas thing is about um, yeah, follow me on Instagram for all of my IG stories. So if you're a reseller and you sell vintage, keep in mind that April is the big event where a lot of people are sourcing for vintage. People are sourcing for vintage year round for this event. So I would always recommend using the hashtag Viva Las Vegas, VLV. Or if you're curious, you know, do a deep dive into these hashtags so you can get an idea of what items people are looking for. So I am bringing some swimsuits. There is a pool party every single day at Viva Las Vegas. And the big pool party is on Sunday where there are like swimsuit competitions. So people enter their like true vintage 1950s, 1940s, 1960s swimsuits. And it's a lot of fun. I love watching all of the swimsuits that are entered for these competitions. So here is one more casual swimsuit. This is just a Catalina, but this is a nice swimsuit that you can actually jump into the pool with. This is a lime green. It was previously in my Tiki Oasis haul, but I'm going to bring it to the sale. And then this another gorgeous Catalina. This is a gold satin swimsuit with some Lurex threading pinstripes. I don't know if you can see it. This is a Catalina masterpiece. This is the label. So this is definitely more of a showgirl outfit for you to lounge by the pool and not necessarily jump into the water. Here's the back. It has like this brocade trim. So as you can see, there's like two different types of swimsuits. There's this vintage swimsuit you can jump in the pool with. And then there's the vintage swimsuits that you can lounge next to the pool, but you're not going to jump in the pool with this one. This is a cute little piece that I've been saving for a special sale like this because I feel like this is definitely the crowd that appreciates these kind of pieces. So this is just a little bolero top that I found and it has this cute little hood attached. And look at this pattern. It's like a seahorse and seaweed and starfish. I think this is from the 40s actually and the label is the label is Delene Kingston from Hollywood. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, this I imagine was part of like some sort of three-piece set, but I think somebody that's headed towards Viva Las Vegas would definitely appreciate something like this. Besides that, I'm also bringing a lot of like more casual tops. This is just a pretty novelty rose print top. This is a sheer button up blouse that I feel somebody could dress up. I'm bringing a lot of separates. So some like that cute little tap shorts, like black basic tap shorts. These are just some 1950s shorts. Beautiful turquoise blue. Some Mexican circle skirts.
and some cute cotton day dresses so for example here's one that has a cute little starburst print and then this one's just like a cute little gingham dress but i love it because it's covered in these prong set rhinestones around the collar All right, so that's just a sneak peek of some of the pieces that I'm bringing to the sale. I still have some more items to bring in from my storage and a few other like pieces that I still need to mend and clean in time. But if you have some time and would like to join us on Saturday for the IG Live, again, here's my Instagram and here's the flyer with the times that all of the vendors are going live on Saturday. And the sale is this Sunday. So if you're interested in learning more about how to participate in pop-up shops, what items you need, I do have a previous YouTube video that I'm going to link here above in the card and down in the information down below. And again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for all the support and all of your sweet comments. Stay tuned for next week's video. Um, it's the first of the month, so we'll do my August sales. And then I am going to Vegas next week for Viva Las Vegas. So stay tuned for more videos on my channel for sourcing in Vegas. I hope to be able to source, get away for a little bit, visit some thrift shops, and maybe the, maybe the Goodwill outlet. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.